Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. So, your computer's running out of disk space. The C drive's almost full, and your system's getting sluggish. What can you do? Space Sniffer to the rescue. If your C drive is seeing red like this, it's time to free up some disk space. Having at least two gigabytes of free space on the C drive is a must, but it's ideal to have more like 15 to 20 gigabytes free. There are lots of ways to clear up space. The easiest might just be emptying the recycle bin, or even running Windows built-in disk cleanup tool. But sometimes it's your own files that are causing the problem, and you simply don't know where they are. Hunting through all the directories and folders on your machine can be really time consuming. There must be a better way. There is, and it's called Space Sniffer. Space Sniffer is a free tool available from my new Doctor's Favorites page linked up above here. Space Sniffer scans your entire hard drive, or the portion of it that you select and presents you with a graphical display of what's taking up the most space. You can then drill down to each folder to see what it is that's actually causing the problem. Because it searches inside the Windows folder, it's best to run Space Sniffer by right-clicking on it and Run as Administrator. It then pops up a window asking which drive or folder you wish to scan. This is usually the C drive, but you can choose another drive or pick a particular folder to scan that on its own. Double-click the C drive to start, or enter your preferred path, and click Scan. The system will spend a few minutes scanning the drive and showing you the progress up in the top right corner. Once complete, it will display an interactive tile map of the file or folder that you chose, with tile sizes proportional to the size of the file or folder on the disk. On this system, which is my video edit machine, the bulk of the space is taken up with the TD video folder that I've highlighted here which is the archive and working folder for all of these videos. Over to the right, we have the program files folder and the windows folder, while the user folder is down below. There are a couple of big files down the bottom right, pagefile.sys and hyperfill.sys, that are system files that we really don't want to mess with. The same largely goes for the windows folder. In the users folder, we have a fairly large app data folder, which is Chrome and all of its bits and pieces usually, as well as a copy of my Evernote database. Some of these I can do more about than others. To find a folder in the file system, you just right click on the folder's title and click on open. And that will open a Windows Explorer window with that folder's contents in it. You can also delete files directly from within Space Sniffer by clicking on the file and then clicking the delete key on the keyboard. In fact, you can do everything you normally could with a file just simply by right clicking on it and selecting one of the items from the context menu that pops up. I hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to give Space Sniffer a try. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician and navigate your technology maze. Click here to subscribe to more videos, click here to subscribe to our mailing list and get weekly updates, or click here or here to see some videos that you possibly haven't seen before. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.